Hi, welcome to another photo link video. This one is on using Minolta 35 millimeter lenses on the now popular Sony Alpha DSLRs, digital single lens reflex cameras. Uh, as you might be aware, in 2006, uh, Sony purchased um, basically all the rights from Minolta to manufacture their uh, uh, cameras from that point forward, the uh, DSLRs purchased all their technology. Uh, this really threw a lot of people in the Minolta community into a tailspin because they thought, they didn't know what they were going to come up with. They thought it was going to be uh, the death of the Minolta company. But uh, such was not the case. Uh, Sony actually greatly enhanced uh, the Minolta camera line, both in the build quality, uh, the finish, and so on. And uh, what we've come up with is a really nice digital SLR. And coupled with the uh, compatibility of the 35 millimeter lenses, you have an awful lot of very high quality uh, cheap lenses. So uh, without further delay, why don't we get on into it? As you all, we all remember, um, Minolta has been making a lot of single end reflexes for a long time. In fact, they've been an innovator in the field. They were the uh, first to come up with um, the wireless flash technique that virtually everybody has adopted. They had the uh, first well-working, I know Pentax was credited with it by some people, but Minolta came up with the uh, first of the working autofocus lenses, and uh, they were the first to employ a uh, bayonet-type lens. Uh, we're not interested in the Minolta MC lenses from 70 to 77 or the Minolta MD lenses from 77 to 82 as these require a optical coupler, which I'll show you in a minute, to achieve um, infinite focus. We're interested in the Minolta Maxim series lenses, the AF lenses of uh, the 80s, the 1980s and up. Uh, these are the lenses that work the best with the uh, Sony cameras. The early Minolta digital SLRs um, per, or, you know, utilized what was called the MC and the MD lenses. MC stands for meter, meter coupled and the MD stands for maximum diameter. They were uh, earlier attempts at a, um, you know, the film SLRs and automation techniques and so on. Um, the MC and the MD uh, lenses uh, have what's called an SR uh, bayonet mount. And uh, the Sony Alpha and the, um, the Maxim series in the Minolta and the, um, uh, the uh, Minolta Dynax uh, uses what's called a uh, Alpha mount. Um, so they're incompatible. Now, to make an MC or an MD lens work on a Sony, you have to utilize one of these adapters, which um, places an optical element in between um, the lens and the camera. Uh, basically, what it does is allows it to achieve ma maximum focus, and or excuse me, infinite focus. And what that basically does is uh, leads to uh, loss in image quality. I don't recommend them. You can use them in a pinch. What you can also do is you can take that adapter knock the um, uh, the optical element out of it, and if you do not uh, need to achieve um, the um, uh, infinity focus, like in macro applications and so on and so forth, those lenses will work fine. But to achieve um, uh, infinity focus, you have to have that optical element in between, which kind of um, uh, spoils that concept for me. Uh, there is uh, one additional um, difference between uh, the Sony lenses for the new cameras and the Minolta lenses of the past is um, you're going to find in the Sony, um, or I mean in the Minolta uh, A-mount autofocus lenses from the, uh, or from the Maxim series and Maxim Dynax is what you're going to find is you're going to find fewer contacts on uh, the lens where it meets the uh, body of the camera. The reason being is these lenses uh, do not employ uh, ADI or automatic distance integration 
in the flash. This is really a, a very minor limitation. All you have to do is shift to uh, TTL. And in every other aspect, uh, the Minolta Dynax lenses uh, will work great. Um, that's something you should be aware of, however. Another factor that you should be aware of is the older Minolta lenses for the Maxim series, the 35mm lenses, were designed um, for a 36 by 24 full frame image. So when they say 35 millimeter, that is wide angle, and we associate that with 35 millimeter, but that is on a 36 millimeter by 24 millimeter full frame. Uh, unfortunately, until recently, well, that's going to work fine on an 850. So if you've got an 850 or a 900, forget this from now on, or forget what I'm talking about with crop factors. But if you have any of the other Sony cameras, um, your sensor size is going to be 15 millimeter by 22.5 millimeter, which is called an APS-C. And what it's going to do is you take that 35 millimeter, um, uh, basically image size or the, or the lens, the focal length of the lens, and you multiply it times 1.5. So if you have, let's say if you have a 40 millimeter lens. You basically have a 60 millimeter lens if you're on an APS-C um, image size on your camera. Um, all the cameras, the Sony Alpha cameras, except for the 850 and the uh, 900, have the APS-C um, image. Or I mean, image sensor size. So the 850 and the 900 have the full frame. So um, the 35 millimeter uh, focal lengths that are found on these older lenses are basically um, as they are on a 35 millimeter. Um, on the on all the other cameras, um, other than the 850 and the 900, what you have to do is you have to multiply your focal length by 1.5. This is a very important topic, so I'm going to show you another image here. If you take, for example, on this particular lens, you can see in the uh, red lines, basically that is the full frame uh, sensor field of view uh, of this particular lens. If you take the blue, um, basically the blue lines, basically that is the cropped, both narrower angle of view and also it's uh, going to a smaller sensor. Uh, basically that is for the uh, AP um, S-C sensor. So um, this is very important to realize. If you get a 35 millimeter lens and you're using a camera, a Sony Alpha camera, other than the 850 or the 900, what you're going to have is you're going to have one and a half times uh, the focal length of the lens you are using. But please understand that the build quality on those older lenses and the optics are outstanding. This is going to conclude um, this video. Um, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to go into a part two of this video. We're going to uh, get a lot more in depth on uh, lenses, Minolta lenses for the uh, uh, Sony and why you should use them. Thank you for watching.